Um. Yeah. Yep. What are we gonna do about the last wedding? the next one correct yeah meow, 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 meow. dusty just pm'd me kentucky girl kentucky girl let's listen to how to deal with a psychopath specialist or at least someone with experience dealing with victims of psychopaths three dusty like this be quiet about it do not talk to your friends about the psychopath. You might think this is a good time to reach out. What the fuck? Is, he thinks, like, this is a serious problem for people. Like, don't tell anybody about this. Friends that you can depend on for support. But chances are, if the psychopath has done his or her homework, they've already gotten to them in advance. If your friends have not been compromised by the psychopath, there's a good chance that they will be. And be forewarned, very few people can compete with the ability to manipulate the minds of the unsuspecting like the psychopath. Keep things quiet. Do not confront your psychopath. Engage in a battle of wits, challenge, or attempt an intervention with your psychopath. This will only open you up for further potential pain, suffering, and potential loss. The psychopath has the uncanny ability to turn anything you say against you. Don't give them the opportunity. And number four, stay strong. Stay the course. If the psychopath counterattacks you, don't respond. If you communicate anything to this person, it should be only silence. Be steadfast and unshakable, solid as a rock. He or she must realize that you cannot be manipulated or bullied into making any kind of response, no matter what they do or say. Keep a good posture, positive outlook, smile, and be confident, even if you don't feel like it, all right, you're at ready. all times. Any indication of weakness will be seen as an opportunity for them to insert themselves or launch another attack. Five, protection by documentation. Document everything. Keep hard copies of everything you can to document... Okay, I actually thought of something. Wouldn't it be faster if we, like, just found buildings with good floors so that I, like... Like, all four cogs laid out, so you wouldn't have to, like, do the elevator time and shit. Yeah, but that's really hard. But, I mean, it's worth it, because, like... I bet, like, if someone searched for... Like... I searched cogs, all day yesterday. No, all day. I searched for an hour or something, and only found one. And then an invasion started, and someone took it. Alright, Edison wedding. Man, any interaction or statements made by your psychopath and keep it at a secure location. Watch what you say. All right, next, uh, Adrian. Uh, all right, you and me, you and me, you and me can take, I guess. Or actually, uh, Drew, does Ace of Spades have uh, a fog? The door's not opening for me. Oh my god, it didn't open. Wait, Drew, does Ace of Spades have a fog? Yeah. Uh, us three can fog. Yeah. Cause, uh, fog is faster than two cake. <laughs> He's coming like so weird. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Act as if every word. Is being recorded and may be read to a jury in the future, word for word, and spun out of context in an effort to make you look like a lunatic. Maybe someday, people who once trusted you will see the truth. But even so, if your psychopath was a masterful one, they will wonder about you, even after the true colors of the psych. Oh, well, we won, right? I have no idea. So don't hold on to the false hopes that one day of being vilified by all the illicit accusations that were made against you. In most cases, the effects are permanent. 
that may fade over time, maybe in the afterlife. Six, forgive yourself. Most of all, forgive yourself. You are not the perpetrator here. You are the victim. And as a victim, you may have found yourself in a vulnerable or compromising situation. You may feel like the fool. Oh, great. This one's half spot a psychopath. Okay, Dusty, can you stop playing this shit? That's really annoying. You need to learn about how to deal with the psychopath.